so that you can maximize fully on your natural strength and speed. It's very important that you understand how to coordinate your movements so that you transfer the energy out of you and into the club. So today I'm going to be showing you using KVEST how to do that and provide you with uh, several exercises that will enable you to develop this at your own pace. So the kinematic sequence involves the acceleration and deceleration of the major body segments with precise timing. And if a player can decelerate at the same rate they accelerate, a large amount of energy will be transferred to the next segment. Now the major segments involved in this are the pelvis, thorax, arms and club. This is also the sequence in which they transfer maximum energy with each peak speed being faster and slightly later than the previous segment. So an efficient transfer of energy across each joint promotes an increase in energy from the proximal to the distal segment. And this results in the muscle at each joint to increase in energy. However, if the timing of the energy transfer is wrong, energy will be lost, resulting in a slower clubhead speed. Okay, so now that we understand that each segment in the kinematic chain has an acceleration and a deceleration, I'm now going to explain to you how to put the brakes on each segment. And the easiest way to do that is if as I uh, stand on this spinning disc. Now, if I attempt to move my upper body as fast as I can, what you'll see is that my lower body moved in an equal and opposite direction. So therefore, in order to get the segment to decelerate, I need the next segment to accelerate even faster. That in turn will stabilize the lower half and decelerate it, enabling the upper body to move faster. And the same holds true with the arms. So as, I'm, as I've peak speed my pelvis and decelerated, because my upper body has moved faster, if my arms then at the correct point release even faster, then my upper body will stabilize and do the same job that my pelvis did. Okay, so now that we understand the acceleration and deceleration and how it's created, we're now going to do three exercises to develop the movement pattern for this. Now the first one is uh, with a med ball and this is for our pelvis and upper body. And what we're going to do is we're going to put the med ball in the sternum. This is to stabilize the shoulders, the scapulas, so that it's an upper body turn as opposed to a shoulder movement. And I've set the KVEST audio feedback tone on, which will tell me when my hips on the way down have reached um, an optimum position to be in, at which point then I've then got to fire my upper body to fast enough to stabilize my lower body. So in slow motion, we're looking at this. So that's the motion that we're looking for and the aim is to progressively get faster and faster. So as you work on this more you'll be able to become aware of which muscles, how much pressure you're having to put into the floor with your uh, lead side foot to stabilize the lower body as you rotate the upper body. So do this in say three sets of 10 reps, start off gently and then build up. So this next exercise uh, brings the arms into the sequence. And to do this, we use a towel. Uh, I've got an object here, bag, you can use a wall or chair or something to hit. And this exercise will really encourage the movement pattern to flow from the lower body, upper body, and then to the arms. So we do three sets of 10, uh, building up gradually to kind of really get the feeling of the movement pattern. So it looks like this.
Now to really get the energy out of you and into the end of the towel, this exercise really gives you the sensation of the decelerating factors in the pelvis, upper body, and then finally in the arms to get that release. So again, three sets of 10, building that up. So this next exercise brings together all three components into a golf shot. So we're gonna punch the ball uh, using a six iron. The aim is to stop as soon as you can after you strike the ball, holding that finish for three to five seconds. What this enables you to do is to become very aware of the pressures that are involved in stopping early and also the muscles that are really working to stabilize and hold that position after you hit it.